Well, hello, folks, and welcome back to Kenshi. I, uh, moved a few things with the editor. I deleted the duplicate workshops that I had already placed and didn't bother to check and make sure that I hadn't already built them. So I deleted those, tidied things up a little bit, moved it around, and I fixed some of the job lists over here for people. Poopskadoop. You are... Unconscious out front, okay. You got shanked in the head by somebody. Maybe it was Hep. Maybe he's holding a grudge or something. Either way, you've been patched up, so you should be fine. Everybody is running out there to do what? <laughs> Apparently to load up on copper. Wow, okay. Another huge fight. Wonderful. Hungry bandits. This should be an easy fight. I'm I'm not interested in fighting hungry bandits. I'm more interested in the workshops that I built and everything. I wanna see make sure people's jobs jobs are getting carried out. Some of the new items that we can make are actually being produced. Oop. You're being carried around by slacks, it looks like. He decided to partially rescue you before getting distracted. Now he's hauling your ass to the hospital. Wait, no. Dimash, you were the one being hauled to the hospital. Poop, where that where are you? Oh, you got hauled up here. Both of you were getting a ride to the hospitals. You just got the public option. It's a good thing that you can't get brain damage in this game. As far as I know, there's no permanent debilitating debuffs. Can't lose an eye or anything, unfortunately. I mean, to me, the more realistic and grisly the combat, the better. It adds details and character to everybody. After months or weeks or years of grueling combat, people be missing fingers and eyes and arms and legs. And all of those wounds and scars, much like Dwarf Fortress, have a story to tell. Now... What I'm curious is... Hyperthermic, I think I set you up on your job order list in here to work on one of these when you are not... Mass producing steel bars. So. No, you're picking up all of these iron plates and using. Okay. I mean, they're set to use the plate beating station and the copper alloy bench. Both of them are. Uh, once. I guess this is full. Once they've made enough steel bars, then they're free to move on to the next tier of production. What I'm probably going to have to do... Oh, God. How am I going to stretch this place out? Like, I could use a few more steel refineries for steel bars. Maybe some more storage bins. Like, I built this place up, but... I don't, I, I don't know how to fill it up. We put a building back here, just for the hell of it. I'm sure something will come along. I mean, I don't have any peeler machines yet. Machine designed to slowly and carefully remove the outer layers of whatever is put inside. I don't feel that it's come to that yet, which is why I haven't. Definitely haven't needed the corpse furnace. I guess honestly, I, I'm just looking for stuff to put here that I don't actually have or need right now. I want to build because I hate seeing all this empty space. What do I even need to get? Tech level 5. I need 8 ancient science books. I've pretty much got the money for it. 
I could just get that shop down there to actually restock them. I mean, I, I true, I know some of you are saying it, at least in your heads, there's always the expedition option. But so far that has netted me a whopping one, I believe. Until I get a little bit higher lock picking, I'm honestly not sure it's worth it to continue going out and about. Aurelius, your turrets are good enough. You can go do whatever, actually. He's like, I've got nothing to do. That's fine, too. Now, how's my two lock pickers doing? Jonathan, you're up to 18. Revy, up to 19. I have a feeling Jonathan should pass you this 20% bonus. Soul, you're good enough with martial arts now. Which means I actually should find you something to do. You're good at laboring, and that is about it. You've got good strength. How about... my electrical components are full. I'll put you on that anyways. Uh, go make leather if you're not doing anything else. That way Zan doesn't have to keep jumping back and forth. Um, throw that hemp on the ground. Cause, let me see. How much hemp do I have? I have 28 there. I have 38 hemp. It should be enough to build another farm. Slowly get these. Yeah. That's more than enough. Slowly get my hemp empire going. Because it'll be a better source of fabric, I guess, than cotton will. With a crop yield of 46. Just do one at a time so it doesn't get split. I think I've almost got my audio levels where I want them to be. It doesn't cut off too soon. The music's not too loud most of the time. Uh, I can even, for the most part, drink tea without having to mute myself. You guys don't hear the spoon clank most of the time. I think I saw it spike that time. So, Aurelius, you still need something to do. That's right. You're the one I said it was fine to just sit around. You and Mew Pew start shooting the shit over some rum and bread. Mew Pew, you're good at- you're really good at farming, wow. I need to get you on some manual labor, actually. Rallius. Fortunately, getting you set up with farming wouldn't do any good. At least with... Mew Pew getting set up on some manual labor. That'll be good for your... Your strength. And I like how... I, I, I like how... I, I've had pretty much no issues with the people here so far. I had assumed that mining copper out here... I'd be chasing tyrants off or grieve wraiths... Grieve wraiths off quite regularly. Knock on wood, hasn't happened. Corbin. These guys are still popping up. I guess they did make it pretty far in. Slacks, this guy doesn't have anything, does he? Nope. So I'm pretty sure I already looted him. Pets, you're gonna have to eat quicker, okay? I mean, you're free to eat the ones that aren't completely dead yet. They're unconscious, they don't care. So, Kane, you need something to do. He's like, all you've ever had me do is work in the iron fields, man. 63, laboring. No, wait, you can help. Actually, no. Do not want you with no skills in farming. Helping with that stuff. What can I have you do? Uh, you can go grind 
out flower, which apparently doesn't need to be done. I can have you make rum. Arrow making, clothing. Yeah, see, I don't want to use any of these yet. Can you not? Go use that on the farm if you need it. I'm assuming that some of you do. So, what if... You can go work at the plate beating station. And if that's not going to happen, go work at the copper alloy bench. And if that isn't going to happen, go work at the chainmail sheet fabrication bench. This is Plump's workshop now. And these are the people that I'm hiring so far. At least part-timers. Kane, hypothermic. Um, Jean Longoat at some point. Start getting these supplies built. Somewhat stockpiled. Hey, somebody... I think that's Revy's press that he carried around for so long. Upper alloy plates. So they'll start pumping these out, hopefully. People are running iron to them as needed. Now, if I wanted to make something here, I never did decide... Probably a plate jacket. A plated leather jacket with a good solid armor coverage. Commonly worn by the wealthier drifters and professional adventurer scouts. Has 100% coverage all over the place, which seems pretty nice. But that to be repeated, I do like the look of it. The armored rag skirt, the armored rags, I don't I don't want to make anything with rags. The title. Leather armor. I almost want to switch Xan over to making something else. How's our specialist armor coming? I've got one. Two. Masterwork? Hell yeah! Xan the man. High quality armor crafted by the renowned smith Xan of Mushroom Tribe. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a picture of that. Congrats, Xan. Plump's popping out shitty mushroom-shaped helmets, which is kind of fitting that that's what they look like. Um, let's say, people are getting attacked. They should be fine, right? Say, can I pop those in your inventory? I don't even want to use them yet. They're shoddy grade. Plump's got a while to go. Come on, surely we can fit one more? Nope. Plum's got a ways to go before we wear his hats, so... You know what? Put all that up there. Put all that up there. Just... Just sell all of that. I want Zan's inventory open because you're going to be shuffling stuff. Uh, I think that you should get... Your masterwork armor. So, specialist is 3249.70. This is 3758.70. Fist protection of 60, 60, 30, acid, coverage, 90, 40, 90, 100, 94, pretty much, okay. If this were in a shop, I don't know if I would pay for the additional protection, but there we have it. So, you guys are just attacking, what are you attacking? Who's attacking? Sadnail? Who's fighting? Who's got blood? Why are people running around screaming? Uh, you're distracting me. You can't afford it. Look, we only sell the best here. I apologize, Nines. Can't... Can't all be willing to settle for just crap. Let's see, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I'm looking... <laughs> I get easily distracted. I'm looking for people who need better armor. Mind's eye, get up here. got some crappy standard grade mercenary armor on. Clickety clickety click. Everyone in the base knows that I'm incredibly impatient, so... They try to hustle as quickly as they can. Put that on, you're free to go. Dismissed mind does, mind's eye. 
specialist. Standard grade. Corbin X, my man. We have to get you. There we go. I like Corbin because his outfit kind of reminds me of, uh... It looks like you need to give him an... an just a combat rifle. Send him in overseas into the jungle in a Huey helicopter. I think he's got some type of Vietnam outfit going on. Go ahead and take that. Now, I wish there was a way to see their entire protection and stats once I equip their gear. But as far as I know, there's no way to do that either. Defense. Blah, blah, blah. Nothing useful. Mew Pew, you've got high grade. Damn, Kane? Running around in shoddy grade. If no one buys this stuff for too much longer, like the crappy armor and everything, I might just... I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure how to get rid of it. Okay. Like, there's a part of me that just wants to put it on my dinosaur's backs and then run out into the middle of the desert and just unload it all. Throw it on the ground and run away. What are you guys doing? They're like, look, we heard the mercenaries were having fun with some starving bandits. We wanted to come out here and get a piece. Wow, that was loud. Diabetic is out here soloing a whole bunch of them with his... Shikaka. Behind the back block. Hits two at once almost every time, trying to maximize his attacks. And he fell out of rhythm for a moment. There we go. Be fluid, diabetic. Be water. Of course, the dinosaurs are kicking ass. Dino will have all of those down in a matter of seconds. Not bad. I mean, if we can't hold our own against starving bandits, even even if they sent like two or three hundred starving bandits, I should be able to deal with them, right? Oh boy, holy nation out here. Darkness, heretics! Please, come. Please, come into my base. These guys might actually do it. They want to go shopping really bad. But I can already tell that their bigotry and prejudice is going to get the best of them. That's not one, is it? No. Okay, they all turned around. They knew their leader wasn't having any of it. He pulled out his map and was like, Oh, God. No, 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 no. Don't go to this place. I need to go report back to the... The Pharisees, or whoever they worship. I'm not really entirely sure about their whole religious... ...hierarchy just yet. We've got the Phoenix at the top. We've got Okrin, the god. Something like that. Is there a bunch more bandits inside? Oh, of course it's Holy... It's, it's another group of the Holy Nation that I, apparently I didn't see come around the corner. I was watching the other ones and go off in the distance. Okay. Are you telling me they made it far inside our base? Sir, they were shopping, sir. Hey, a backpack. It's Blammo. Well, now you're fucked. So... Dino. Or Denver. And Dino, get down here. Who is missing a backpack? I love that this is the best way I can get backpacks now. Poopskadoop took another blow to the head. He's all mangled and brained out right now. Uh, mind's Eye, I think, yeah. You're the first one I pulled up, so go get it. Dr. Chung is down with a stomach wound. Looks like just you two so far. What the hell? How many of them could possibly be back here? Hang on a second. I need to scratch my ankle suddenly. Uh, you know what? Holy Cleaver, get rid of that. Take the Shikaki. And... 
get an upgrade there. Game auto saves, you get an upgrade with that. 6, 16, 65. I know that that's not going to be better, but okay. Congratulations. Cyber Zombie goes down with a head wound. Was backed into a corner. Contract with Tech Hunters has ended. Up to 68,000 credits. I was going to say, do I want to hire the Tech Hunters again? I want to get a new group. Are you the leader running here? No. The hard part will be finding the leader if I want to rehire them until they all gather up somewhere. What the hell? Hungry starving bandits. Revy, go finish them off. We're merciful here in bit and labor. They're like, please no! We're trying to chase the shade around this tree. I like our weapons. You you don't dual wield them yet, unfortunately. It's been a long time since I've seen how many extra we've made. I should probably go check that. Especially since I upgraded them to Katan. I think to the next tier of Katan, maybe? K Katun? See, we've got Stone of the Drifters. His left arm is mangled. Something nommed on him on the way here, of course. Going on here? Oh, everybody's being patched and healed up. It's like, I didn't build anything recently, so... Why is my Stone Pit so active? Come on. Kick their ass. And I can't believe that I have to do this again, but... Who around me? Everybody's damn near full. Kyra? Come here. Say, so hang back for just a second. Unfortunate that you don't have inventory that'll stack this stuff, but okay. Uh, Pekunk. Are you still loaded? Pretty much, yeah. Hasn't changed. Hyperthermic. I want everything. Now, where's their other beef pieces at? Right here. By Ocran's will, they've brought us another offering. I can't believe it. Absolutely crazy. They must really love us as neighbors. Oh, here's where the other ones were slaughtered. Kunk, you're full. Poopskadoopster, you're full. Kane, you're full. Zan, you ain't got nothing. We completely slaughtered them over here, it looks like. And he instantly rips into the ration pack. It's the best thing he's tasted his entire life. Uh, you know what, before you go... Steal their cats. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this money. I lie. I mean, you know exactly what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to go spend it on books and blueprints and stuff. Pekunk is over here kicking some butt. Or at least standing still and looking like, like he wants to kick some butt. He doesn't really, but... He was thinking about it really hard. So, dead... Dead. 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 Pretty sure that's everything. And here we go. This is all that's left of my tech hunters. It's Cactus. I almost have to hire them simply based on their name. We've got Flatfoot of the tech hunters. Trying to regroup with them. Uh, I think I'm going to hire them again. They're, they're kind of messed up and... Yeah, a little bit bad. I need some mercenaries. Cactus looks on with the thousand-yard stare. What are you doing? I thought we bribed you just to leave. Nope. Wow. Okay, time out. Time out. This is now a looting video. 
Because there's so many of them here. Several thousand cats, man. I don't have to worry about the bandages or anything, but... Got a triangle bandit that made it all the way into the base. Flatfoot, I'm gonna have to... Go get you an economy leg, aren't I? Zanu, I'm pretty sure I looted you. A hunting saber. Probably keep that. Uh, where's the where's the rest of the bodies at? The kunk charges forward, completely unfazed by the battle raging around them. Slams into the enemy, stunning them for just a second. Long enough for Denver to come take a bite. Oh. I think that's enough pausing and unpausing and looting people for now. Yeah, don't you guys be walking out of here like you're leaving. Just rehired you. Klefta of the Tech Hunters. Wandering trader. So, I've got two Holy Sentinel out here. Without scrapes. And Spike the Drifter limping away. And who the hell is this? Twigging out. Hungry Bandit Leader. No. You better not be the one. Jonathan. Get in here. Is this the one I captured? That I forgot about like a video ago. No, you're still in here. You're starving. Um, why can't I talk to you? I feel like something in my load order is bugged out a little bit. Because I, sh I should have the option to talk to him. He's hungry. But he's not starving. How about that, huh? How about I take your cats? How about... How about I take your weapon? Kind of a shame. I don't know what it could possibly be. I have the option. It's a mod for recruiting prisoners. I'm also using Reactive World, but I've got a patch for those two that makes them play nice together. I guess... I, it doesn't have to be plump, does it? That would just be dumb. Plump, get over here. The game does actually recognize, if I'm not mistaken, who your lead character is, like the first character that you start with. It shouldn't have too much of an impact on things, but sometimes it does. Okay. No, I cannot talk to you. Can set free, can pick you up. The one thing you won't do is talk. I'm just going to let him sit in there, probably until he starves. I will most likely forget him. Come on, everyone. Clean up the, the stragglers. I could set... Wow, where the hell are you all running? I'm saying I could set my, like, specific people to be passive when they're in town here so that they don't all get involved in combat. I think that's been suggested, but I really just want everyone to, to level up, to continue raising their skills. Because at some point, I do plan to make a little uh, a little combat squad and actually maybe attempt to go raid some stuff. I probably won't start out raiding the Holy Mines, but we'll go hit something like the Deadland Workshop. And... Try and kill the things inside there before moving on to some harder combat. What the hell is a beak thing doing here? I thought I saw the dialogue. It's like, nope, psych. Do not worry, existence is also suffering. Okay, Dino. Let's just leave it be. We don't need to chase it into the into a trap. I don't know if beak are you gonna actually come over here? When the fox hears the rabbit scream, he comes a running, but not to help. Okay, I'm gonna put Denver on the prowl just right there for a moment. Maybe try and scare that thing away. I'm worried that it's gonna pop over the hill and eat my 
copper miners up there. The Holy Nation are now hostile towards me. Hell yeah. It only took like 120 videos. The Holy Nation, where are you at? Negative 30 is what hostile takes. Oh. We'll see what that means, because I'm honestly not entirely sure. We'll probably actually start sending some war parties after me. Either way, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, the base is still in the process of cleansing some of the holy nation that continues to pop up. I'm going to let them, because the worst thing that could happen inside my base, surrounded by friends, is that they lose a limb. And that's not even that bad, because I can just go buy a better one. So, I guess I will see you all next time.